Welcome to another Me vs Maths tutorial. This one is part of our numeracy unit and is a method that you can use for long multiplication called the lattice method. It's the only method that you'll see us use on Me vs Maths because for a variety of reasons it's become my favourite. However, it can be a bit confusing to people who've never seen it before. This is what the lattice method looks like. It's also sometimes known as the Windows method or even the Chinese method. And as I just said, it can look a bit intimidating, but let's have a go and hopefully you'll find out that it's really not as scary as it looks. We'll start with a relatively small multiplication. Here we're multiplying a two digit number by a one digit number. So the first thing we need to do is to draw a rectangle two units by one unit like so. Two squares across, that's where we're going to put our two digit number. So 56 goes here multiplied by our one digit number 8 which will go down the side. Now we need to add on some diagonal lines. Now personally I only use the essential ones. I need to split each square in my grid in two by drawing a line from the top right of the square to the bottom left and extending it. So looking at this square first I'll draw a line from the top right to the bottom left and extend it. Same for the next square top right to the bottom left and extend it again. OK, I've actually drawn my grid now and I'm ready to do my multiplication. I'll start by multiplying this 6 by the 8. Now 6 times 8 is 48, so we enter that as 4 tens and 8 units, like so. Next we need to multiply 5 by the 8, that's 40, so 4 tens and no units. Now as with other methods of long multiplication we now need to do a bit of adding up at the end but we're going to add up in a slightly strange way we're going to do it in diagonal columns starting from the right hand side. In our first diagonal we've just got 8 so the total for this column is just 8. Our next diagonal column has a 4 and a 0 in it. If we add the 4 and the 0 together, we'll get a total of 4. And last of all, this diagonal, it's only got one number in it again. It's just got a 4 in it, so the total of that column is 4. We've got our answer now of 448. And that is an example of the lattice method done. Let's do another. This time it's three digits by one digit. So our rectangle wants to be three units across and one down. Our three digit number is going to go along the top and our one digit number is going to go down the side. We've made three small squares and these all need to be split in two with diagonals from the top right to the bottom left just as I showed you previously. So the first square, the second square, and the final square, all split into two with those diagonal lines. Again, we've drawn our grid, we're now ready to multiply. Starting with 9 times 7 then, that's 63, so 6 tens and 3 units. 4 times 7 next is 28, so 2 tens and 8 units. And finally, 2 times 7, or 7 times 2, is 14, so a 1 and a 4. Now we're on to our addition stage again. Only 3 in this first diagonal, so the total is just 3. The next diagonal has 8 and 6, which adds to make 14. Now, we don't just write 14 here. Just as you do in a normal written addition method, we'll keep the unit part and carry the 10 part. So leave the 4 and carry the 1. Notice where I've put that 1 into the next diagonal column. So we need to add the 4, the 2 and the 1 that I've just carried, which will give us 7. And finally, we've just got a 1 in that last diagonal, so that's easy. We're all done, so our solution is 1743. Hopefully you're starting to get the hang of this now. Now, often the main difficulty that students face with this method is actually drawing out these starting grids. So we're just going to look at two more variations. Here we're doing something that actually we're asked to do quite a lot in maths. 
multiplying a two digit number by another two digit number. So this time we actually want a square rather than a rectangle and we want our square to be two units by two units. Now it really doesn't matter which way around we put our numbers but I'll put 32 along the top and 47 down the side. Now we've got four small squares and we need to split each of these into two sections as before using our diagonal lines. Let's start at the bottom right square, split that into two. Next I'm going to do the top right square. Now when I do this, if I extend the line, I will also split the bottom left square in two as well. So that's exactly what I'll do, like so. We just have one small square left to split now, so let's do that one too, from the top right to the bottom left and extend. Just take a good look at that grid because that's one that you'll find you'll probably have to draw quite a lot. And as I say, this is almost the hardest part of this method for me. We have our four small squares now, all split into two, so we're ready to do our multiplication. It does not matter at all what order I do this part in, but I'll start with the top right square where I'm multiplying two by four. The answer is eight, just eight, so that's no tens and eight units. I'll move to the top left square next. Three times four is twelve, so one ten and two units. The bottom right next, two times seven is fourteen, so one ten and four units. And lastly for this stage, 3 times 7 is 21. OK, we've done all our multiplication, so it's time for the addition. Starting with the diagonal furthest to the right, the one in the bottom right hand corner. This column just has a 4 in it, so that's easy. Our next diagonal has 3 numbers in it, 8, 1 and 1. So they total 10, as in our previous example. We'll leave the 0 and carry the 1 to our next diagonal column. This means our next sum actually has 4 numbers that we need to add. 0, add 2, add 2, add the carried 1, makes 5. And lastly, we just have a 1 in the last diagonal. So our solution, 1,504. We're going to look at one last problem now, which is to multiply a 3-digit number by a two digit number. Three digits by two digits, so we want a rectangle that is three units by two units. We're going to want our three digit number at the top and our two digit number down the side. We need to split our six small squares now. We actually only need four diagonal lines to do this. One, two, three, four, like so. Let's start our multiplication in a different place this time just to show you that it really doesn't matter what order we do this stage in. Let's start in the top left instead. 2 times 6 is 12. 1 times 6 is just 6, so no tens and 6 units. 5 times 6 is 30. Let's go to the bottom right now. 2 times 5 or 5 times 2 is 10. 1 times 2, just 2, so no tens and 2 units. And finally, 2 times 2 is 4, so 0 tens and 4 units. Just as before, for our addition, we're going to start in the bottom right hand corner where we just have a 0. Moving to the left, 0, add 1, add 2, will make 3. 4 digits to add in this column. 3 add 6 add nothing add 4 gives 13. So carry the 1 to the next column. Nor add 2 add nor add 1 gives us 3 again. And lastly, always nice and easy, finishing off with just a 1. Final answer then, 13,330. OK, that was a pretty thorough introduction really to the lattice multiplication. We have an accompanying tutorial which shows how we can easily extend this method to work with decimals and I'd highly recommend that you take a look at that. As always, remember there's lots more to discover on the website at meversusmaths.com. Thanks for joining us and bye for now.